Review, 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG C63 SE Performance Trades Rowdy for Clinical. I'm entering a fast right-hander on Circuito Ascari in southern Spain in the 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG C63 SE Performance and the squawk from the tires quickly becomes a four-wheel slide. It's a short, controllable slide, but no slide is ideal for fast lap times. There are a few reasons for the slide. First, I came into the corner a little hot, but that's easy to do with 671 horsepower at my disposal. Second, the 265-45 or 20 front and 275-35 or 20 rear Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires make for a fine set of performance rubber, but this car could use a stickier tire for the smooth, roughly 2.5-mile track. Third, and most importantly, this car is just plain heavy. The alphabet soup that is the 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG C63 SE Performance, can we just call it the C63E for cripe's sake, trades a rowdy twin-turbo V8 for a sophisticated turbo 4 plug-in hybrid setup and gains 780 pounds in the process. The change makes the car faster in a straight line and even on a track, but it relies on clinical technology instead of lightweight and brute force to do so. Mercedes-AMG C63 SE Performance Techy and techy on the track. Back to that slide. A lot of technology helps me transition from the slide to a sharply executed turn. It starts with the typical stuff standard in the last seat 63, like advanced stability control with four levels of adjustment ranging from basic to master, and an electronic limited slip differential to apportion the power efficiently at the rear. But then there's the new stuff, and all of it is on the rear axle. The ELSD is accompanied back there by an electric motor that can add up to 201 horsepower for electric all-wheel drive. It sends its power through a two-speed transmission that shifts up at 87 miles per hour to deliver the best torque down low and the best power at high speed. The motor revs to 13,500 rpm, so the transmission shift point is programmed to get the most out of it in first gear, then allow it to spin all the way up to the car's 174 miles per hour top speed. A 6.1 kilowatt hour battery, developed by AMG with knowledge from the Formula One program, doles out quick shots of energy to the motor and recovers it quickly. It sits above the rear motor and differential. Rear wheel steering sits back there, too. It can turn up to 2.5 degrees opposite the fronts at 62 miles per hour and below to shorten corners and 0.7 degree with the fronts above that speed to improve stability. All that equipment at the rear moves the car's weight around, resulting in a 49,51 front-to-rear weight balance. At the end of each straight, I get the speed under control by stomping on the brakes. The brake pedal feels strong as six-piston front calipers clamp down on 15.4-inch rotors, and single-piston calipers pinch 14.6-inch rear rotors. The brakes hold up through several track sessions, but they could grip harder, and such a heavy car would be better served by carbon ceramic brakes for the track. Mercedes says they will be an option. Once braking puts the weight on the front tires, the car rotates willingly. It even begins to over-rotate when I turn too sharply. While it's easy to recover, this would be a good way to begin a drift for the available drift mode. The car turns in sharply through quick, weighty, and stable front-wheel steering. Meanwhile, the rear-wheel steering helps shorten the tighter corners, and the ELSD puts the power down effectively in the middle and out of each corner. Back on the throttle into the next straight, more technology comes into play. The M139L 2.0-liter Turbo 4 from the CLA45 sedan and GLA45 crossover SUV sits longitudinally in this car rather than transversely elsewhere. It uses an electric-slash-exhaust gas turbocharger powered by the car's 400-volt electrical architecture and also developed from F1 technology. The electric power allows the turbo to spool up quickly before the handoff to exhaust gases. The engine makes 469 horsepower and 404 lbft of torque on its own. The electric motor can add up to 201 horsepower to give the car a maximum of 671 horsepower, well, sometimes. The motor can always add 94 horsepower of continuous power, effectively making the seat 63 a 563 horsepower car at any given time. 
In comfort and battery hold modes, though, the motor adds 25% of its power, or 50 horsepower for a total of 519 horsepower. In sport mode, it adds 65%, or 130 horsepower, to bring the total to 599 horsepower. In sport plus mode and race mode without kickdown, it adds 80%, or 160 horsepower, for 629 horsepower. In any mode, a notched kickdown at the end of the throttle pedal travel unleashes the car's full power in 10 second intervals. The power is always at the ready. Between the early spool of the turbo and the shot of power from the rear motor, the C63 is always available to slingshot out of corners and stay on boil to the engine's 7000 RPM redline. Mercedes quotes a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of just 3.3 seconds, a half second quicker than the previous generation C63S, which made 503 horsepower from a twin turbo 4.0 liter V8. The engine's power flows through a 9-speed automatic transmission that uses a wet clutch instead of a torque converter. It keeps choosing the right gear for the situation on the track, and I soon learn it's best to let it do the shifting. When I switch to manual shifting, I get out of sorts looking for the paddle shifters because they aren't very large and they don't turn with the steering wheel. I quickly switch back to automatic mode. The power from the rear goes exclusively to the rear wheels when it's used as an add-on, so the transmission doesn't have to deal with the force of the car's full 671 horsepower and 752 lbft of torque. During this track session, I'm using Mercedes TrackPace app, which has been programmed to include Ascari for optimal power delivery. It's one of about 20 tracks currently in the app, and that will increase to 70 to 80 tracks around the world. The app has hot lap and endurance settings to best determine when to make the full electric boost available and keep it available. Each track session includes 7 laps, 2 to get the lay of the track, 3 hot, and 2 cooldown. The extra cooldown lap helps recover energy to charge the battery back up near 100% so the motor's full power is available for the next session. Running in the hot lap setting would drain the battery on these longer sessions and sap power on later laps. Mercedes AMG C63 SE Performance, a rock, canyon, star. While the new C63's weight compromises its track performance, that all changes on the road. Track driving stresses a car at its limits, but anyone driving to a car's limits on the road is asking for a crash, jail time, or both. It's that last 10 to 15% of unchecked aggression that shifts the C63's weight on the track, but that doesn't happen on the street. Without the pendulum of extra weight, the C63 feels much more athletic. It turns sharply, leans less, and recovers its weight better for switchbacks. The powertrain's ready power feels even stronger on the beautiful mountain roads outside Malaga, Spain, where full throttle bursts aren't the norm. It's a grand way to tour these roads, and that's what the C63 has become, more of a grand tourer than a super sport sedan. On the mountain roads the new C63 simply doesn't drive as big as it does on the track, even though it's bigger than a standard C-Class. It's 3.3 inches longer than the base car, with most of that in the front end, and the wheelbase grows by 0.4 inch. Wider fenders fit big tires, and the front track increases by 2.0 inches. Part of the extra size is due to aerodynamic elements. To better cut through the air, the C63 has a jet wing design front fascia backed by two active air panels to control cooling, side skirts, and a large rear diffuser. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.